So I thought I'd take a minute and uh, talk about World's End and uh, basically go over the overview with you just to let you know what the game is all about. So they wake up in the morning and there's an apocalypse apparently that's happened. And so they're trying to figure out a way out of the city. And they hear that there's a an escape helicopter leaving the city. But there's only one seat left. So all the characters in the game are trying to get to the escape helicopter uh, to claim the last seat out of town. So not only are you racing all the other characters to the helicopter to claim the last seat out of town, but you're also racing the Abyss School. The Abyss School is a character that's on a set path around the board to the helicopter. So every time it goes around the table, the Abyss School moves one space. You're playing against the characters, and you're playing against the board. You also have to make friends, you also gonna have to cut a few people off. So when the game begins, you get a uh, number of supplies, and you have to use those supplies to make your way through the city. So you're gonna run into a number of obstacles, um, different things are gonna happen, you're gonna run into different creatures, different people, um, nature itself, and you'll have to defend yourself against those those things. So each character's storyline is going to be completely different than the person sitting next to them. So at some points you're going to run into creatures and you'll have to battle them and play weapons cards. Um, sometimes you'll get hurt in a battle or you'll make a bad decision or something bad will just happen and you'll have to play medical cards. Um, if you don't have the cards to play those, you'll have to play an assist card uh, and find out if somebody wants to assist you along the way. That person can say no, they can say they don't have the cards, they can just decide that they're going to help you, but down a block or two, you might need that person's help, so turning them down or lying to them might not be the best choice. Along the way, you're also going to run into different bosses, and you can't beat the bosses on your own. You're going to need everybody's help to do it. So everybody needs to work together uh, to beat that particular character. So in that situation, everybody's going to have to pitch in different weapons cards to, to beat that boss. Now in some cases, uh, someone might see that a character is really close to the end, and they might actually sabotage uh, the fight. So they might, eh, they could do a number of things to make sure that no one beats the boss, so everybody gets set back. But that also might buy that person uh, with a couple risks they might take. Um, could jump ahead and win the game. So you're never really sure what anybody's motives are, if they're lying to you, if they're telling the truth, if they're helping to uh, buy a favor, or they're looking to set you up. Most all the instructions or you know the situation that you're in is on the card you draw. So you don't have to refer to the you know the rule book every two seconds to try to figure out what's going on. You know, read through the rule book, it's very self-explanatory. Uh, you know, everybody sets up. Um, you take your turns, you draw a situation card, you deal with that situation, or the group deals with the situation, and then it's the next person's turn. You also have tokens. The tokens have uh, special abilities that will allow you to use that once in the game. So it's very strategic in some ways uh, as to what path you take, um, what token you end up picking, and what favors you do for other people, uh, who you cut off, who you don't. We wanted a very easy to play game that you can use strategy. You know, you can play with any level uh, gamer um, that's also an adventure game and where you're playing against the board and other characters. You know, so about five minutes to teach somebody else. We've sat down almost every time, pull out the game and said, okay, here's what's going on. And within five minutes we were playing. But uh, we love the game. We're really excited for everybody else to uh, get to learn it and play it. And we'll talk to you again soon.